Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. We're going to be differentiating inverse trigonomic functions. We just went through differentiating regular inverse functions, but there's also the inverse of trigonomic functions, things like arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. And so we're going to take a look at our differentiation of those. And so let, let me kind of walk you through. I, I'm actually going to uh, derive, no pun intended, uh, the derivation of the inverse function of y equals sine of x. So Remember, when we do a inverse function, we switch the x and the y, don't we? Okay, and so what, what do we have here is we have y sine of yx is equal to, sorry, sine of y is equal to x. We switch the x and y, and then we solve for the y. So the inverse function is going to be y equals arc sine of x, arc sine of x, which you can see right here as we did our little algebra right here is, um, our inverse function is x is equal to sine of y or y is equal to arc sine of x. And so what are we going to do? We're going to derive this inverse function. So we're going to do d over dx of y equals um, d over dx of arc sine of x. Okay. Now this is a little bit difficult because you don't know what the derivative of arc sine is. So we are going to do the same exact equal function is this one right over here. So we're going to do d over dx of x is equal to d over dx of sine of y. And you can see this is a little bit easier, a little bit uh, more able to be done because we don't know what the uh, derivative of arc sine is yet. And so what's the derivative of x is 1. What's the derivative of sine of y is going to be cosine of y times dy over dx because we have that implicit differentiation. And so what do we know is we know that dy over dx, the slope of or the derivative of the inverse function is going to be 1 over cosine of y, 1 over cosine of y. Now this is not very clean, is it? Uh, this is not a great representation of what we have. Now, what do we know is we know sine squared of y plus cosine squared of y is equal to 1, don't we? Which means cosine squared of y is equal to 1 minus sine squared of y, which means cosine of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared of y. So you can see I'm going to kind of plug this right in for my cosine of y. So the derivative of the inverse is 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared of y. And I know all of you are thinking right now, oh, poop in a basket. Am I really going to have to derive this on an AP exam? You're not going to. I'm just showing you how to do it. So calm down, OK? Just calm down, OK? Uh, now. This is still not very clean because I have this sine squared of y, but look at what I have up here in this little box right here. I know x is equal to sine of y, which means x squared is equal to sine squared of y. Those are equalities, which means 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared is equivalent to 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared of y which means the derivative of the inverse. So if y is equal to arc sine of x, the derivative of arc sine of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so that is the derivation of the derivative of arc sine. Okay? Uh, you can see here, I, I give you a little table of all of them. The derivative of arc sine is, you can see, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of arc cosine is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So they're kind of nice. If you know the arc sine, you'll know the arc cosine. It's just negative of that. And you can see the arc tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. The ones that you really, and of course cotangent is very similar to the sorry, arc to cotangent is very similar to the cotangent. The ones you want to know and memorize is the arc sine, the arc cosine, and the arc tangent. Those ones show up on AP exams on my tests over and over and over again. You've got to be able to recognize them, uh, not in a free response, but mostly in a multiple choice. So those are the inverse trig functions. So here, 
let's say we have y equals arctan of negative 6x. Now, you can see right here, we know the derivative, the derivative of arctan is equal to 1 plus, sorry, 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now, what's representing my x right here is this negative 6x. Okay, and so what do we have? Our derivative of this guy is equal to 1 over 1 plus, and we have negative 6x squared in there. Now remember the chain rule. We also have to take the derivative of negative 6. What's the derivative of negative 6x is negative 6. So the derivative of this function is negative 6 over 1 plus 36x squared and that is your derivative. So again, you're going to have to be able to recognize these derivatives of inverse trigonomic functions, especially arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent on AP exams as well as my tests. Okay? Have a good day, guys. I hope this was not too confusing. I hope it was okay. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.